Okay. So let's look at question number 30. So question number 30 is saying the diagram shows the female reproductive system and its associated structures. The diagram shows the female reproductive system and its associated structures. Which labeled part identifies where implantation occurs? Which labeled part identifies where implantation occurs? Okay, so they want us to identify uh, a structure or a part where implantation occurs. So first and foremost, we are going to identify these parts. So part A is the fallopian tube. A is the fallopian tube. Then B is an ovary. B ovary. C uterus. C uterus. Then D is vagina. V so D vagina. A oviduct or fallopian tube. B ovary. C uterus and D vagina now which labeled part identifies where implantation occurs so first and foremost we're supposed to understand what implantation is so what is implantation implantation is the attachment of the zygote to the uterus implantation is the attachment of the zygote to the uterus that is implantation okay so the zygote is going to be formed in part a Okay, zygote is going to be formed in part A, which is the fallopian tube. That's where the zygote is formed. Okay, then now the zygote is going to move and then attach itself to the what? The uterus, which is C. So implantation occurs in the part labeled C. Implantation is the attachment of the zygote to the uterus. Implantation is the attachment of the zygote to the Utilus. Okay, so in this case, we need to identify the part which uh, represents the utilus. So the structure or the part is part C. That's where implantation occurs. So 